what is going on guys, your boy Sissu here, bringing you guys yet another Photoshop tutorial. Introduce you guys to the new 2014 cool little frame animation or dot .gif uh, files on your YouTube banners. You can actually have little GIF files uh, as your YouTube template so it kind of like moves and has these little cool little uh, basic little effects or something on them. And something like this, uh, this is like a basic dissolve effect right here. And like on the YouTube banner you can see I have one uh, pre-made already, just to show you guys what I did. And you can see just simple stuff you can do like this. I'm just I didn't finish this off. I just did this as an example. But you can see here I have a little dissolve effect. Uh, my text like basically my name fades in, and you have something like this little box gets carved out. Uh, something like that is really cool and sick. So it's basically really cool what they did. They allowed you to actually be creative with your YouTube banners and have like a little motion with it. But sadly, at the moment YouTube only allows you to upload no more than two megabytes as your uh, your YouTube layout. So anything above 30 frames, which is basically these little things right here, every one of these little squares, and you can see the number up here. Uh, as frames so anything above 30 frames will actually cause you to actually maybe I think 30 or 25 or 30 will actually cause it to actually be above 2 megabytes so if I said what I say 2 like that I was like 2 megabytes uh, so it'll be above 2 megabytes and you don't want that otherwise you won't be able to upload it and you'll be like dang it I just waste all my time uh, so make sure you guys don't do that and just try to keep below 25 or keep below 30 or so and just keep your layers as well like below about 20 or so as well because uh, this right here is probably about 500 kilobytes which is basically half a megabyte and it'll just already it's only like six frames or so and you can see this is a really simple effect so you gotta like kind of limit yourself uh, you don't always have to do everything drastic you can have like just the logo moving or your text fading in or you can have like a brush like fading in and out and stuff like that uh, with your opacity what we're gonna show you guys here is basically how to do this little distort effect a uh, little dissolve effect if I didn't show you already, already just really quickly there we go and I'm just gonna delete this I'm gonna delete these as well so you have one frame everything's the same as you uh, if you guys do not have this template that like a YouTube banner template I'll give it away right now you can go download it right now just download it come back to this video and they'd be like hey I got the same one as you uh, if you press control H and such you can actually get these rulers as well and also uh, if you don't know how to actually get this little timeline template or not timeline template or timeline option here it's gonna go up your top bar you just go to window and timeline and I think it's below anything below PS4 I believe it'll say like actions not actions it'll say like something different up here uh, I think it'll say like I don't know frames or something it'll say something different it'll be like up here so if you have like anything below PS4 which I shouldn't really see around but you know just in case it'll be somewhere up here otherwise it'll be timeline here we are and there we go so we're gonna just drag in my logo really quickly like so now nah, that's definitely not a logo uh, me dragging it there we go okay logo Dragon. There we go. I don't know why that moved. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna basically change the color of this uh, to white. I'm just gonna go ahead and shrink this a little bit. I'm just gonna change it to white. Give it that same effect that I had. This little bevel effect. Just gonna double click over here, and just go to color overlay. Make it white. Bevel embos. Put the size up a little bit. Just give it a nice little cool effect. Also, uh, if you have anything, if you do like, if you did anything to your logo or any text or anything, uh, anything with like layer styles or anything, you would have to rasterize it. Because uh, with this dissolve effect, it's going to make it seem like those, like the dissolved particles or whatever you want to call them, are still going to have the effect like a drop shadow or anything. So it'll look really sloppy and messy. So make sure you right click rasterize layer style so it actually gets rid of it. But it'll like all the stuff like you put on it, like the layer styles will still be the same. Well, let's say if you want to, like you messed up and you say, hey, what if I want to go back? You can just simply press Ctrl J to make a duplicate of it. And then you can just hide one, put this in like a folder or something. And they can just rasterize this one. So just in case you have to, have to fix anything, you can just go back to it and fix it. Uh, that's just a little example right there. Uh, so really quickly, what you would do, uh, oh wait, really quickly, because if I just mess this up, you guys will just be so mad at me, so I'm going to tell you anything you can do wrong. Uh, so any like anything you do, filter-wise, any effect you do on one layer will carry on to the next one. So if you wanted to like, have like your ripple effect, let's say you want to have this ripple from like, you know, simple and make it ripple all the way through or something, like to a higher ripple or ripple out. Uh, so let's say if I went, I'm just going to show you the example over here, distort, I'm just going to use ripple as an example. And I have this here, so I'm going to click a new frame, which is how you would do it. And let's say if I wanted to have this, you know, de-ripple or something, or go back to a shorter ripple, I'm just going to go here, distort, lower the ripple a little bit. And you can see here, it, you know, it moved here, but as well as it actually changed the first frame as well. So you have to make sure you make a duplicate of it uh, as it's like the same thing, and then put the effect on lowered or put it higher or anything. So make sure you do that. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So let's just say, right, we have this here. We'll just have this layer. Let's say if I want to put that ripple effect on, what I'm going to do right away is put like about three or four or however many one like duplicates you want to do, basically how fast you want to have it, be, it be ripple back or something or whatever. And I'll just hide these, put this one on. I'll put it on ripple. Uh, let's just say distort. 
ripple and we'll put it on like 550 something right I'm just gonna make a new layer now unhide this one click this one and then go to ripple and then just basically make it lower or something and they can just have that flip through so you can see now it will actually not change the first one because you actually have it on different like a completely different layer which is what you want to do if you're doing anything filter wise or any like layer style wise you have to have another duplicate so just make sure you know that so you don't mess up uh, so yeah there we go so this is how we're gonna do the cool little distort effect now so what we're gonna do is just gonna duplicate it a couple times now and I'm just gonna hide these I'm gonna actually change all these to uh, distort really quickly uh, which is basically the layer option right here uh, dissolve I keep saying distort I'm sorry there we go unhide these now and so the for the first layer I'm gonna have it just basically dissolve from like basically nothing so I'm gonna use an eraser here it's gonna make the eraser bigger uh, I can hold sh uh, control alt and right click move left and right to make the diameter bigger of the circle or brush I'm just gonna go ahead and erase it a little bit so it's basically nothing so you can see that there I'm gonna make a duplicate or basically a new layer and then on the new duplicate just gonna hide this first layer we did and then go to the second one so it's a brand new layer we have here and just erase it a little bit just so it's more than this so if I go to here or here you'll see you can see it coming and forming uh, so new frame unhide hide there we go so we have something like this going here and then a new frame go like this and just make it a little bit and then a new frame lastly have it solid so it's kind of like tedious but like I said it's really cool little things you can do with your YouTube banner so if I flip through this really quickly you'll see it dissolves and you're all good to go uh, so let's say if you want to move something let's go ahead and just do that now we're gonna go ahead and go back and put our logo in again and it's gonna go like this I'm gonna delete these really quickly right I'm gonna go back here let's say if you want to just basically have something moving from one side to another what you would do is just simply just make a new layer and then with the same one you can actually you can actually move things with the same thing so if I move this over here you can see it goes from there to there let's say if you like let's say if you didn't want to like multiply put like different ones right here right here right here just to go over here what you can do is basically shift click on both of these and you see this little thing right here basically looks like it's fading between like you know multiple things in between it click on this and what you can do is add frames uh, just keep all these checked and just put all layers otherwise your background and all that stuff will disappear and let's say if you want to add like let's say six frames something in between this uh, position make sure that's changed that's what we're going to do press ok and you'll see here now there will be multiple ones before it gets over there so it won't jump from one to another so that's a really cool little thing you can do as well so here we go we're going to finish it off with something simple with doing the little fading of text uh, so just to show you guys all the basics really quickly and so what we're going to do is just use a text. We're going to just type in SESO HQ, right, 30, like so. Just put it up there. You can have it bigger, obviously, but I'm just changing it just because. And put a little bevel on it, so it's a little something something, a little drop shadow on it. So what you can do is basically duplicate this. Uh, I don't really know. Let's just check really quickly if we do it on this layer. We lower the opacity here. Will it change over here? No, it won't. So you can actually change opacity on the same layer. I just want to make sure I can, you know, test that out for you guys. Uh, so let's say we want to basically have this one be, uh, let's say this has to be 100. On the frame 2, this can be at, you know, 80. And then new frame, now it can be at 40 or something. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just basically lowering the opacity till it just fades out. Uh, or it can fade in, so you just go the opposite way. Just new layer and have it then be at 0. So you can see here now if I flip through, it fades out. I can have that, or you can have it fade in, whichever way you want to do it. Just make sure you just basically make this one a uh, hundred, uh, zero, and then make this one like ninety, blah 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 blah. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, uh, simple simple things like this can also make your banner like really cool and unique. Uh, you can do things like this. Uh, so basically having this. Uh, I don't know if I showed you this in the beginning, uh, but if I if you didn't know already, you can have like little rectangles like this above and below the not below and below, but like on like here or here, and just have something moving around like that. Uh, just something like just kind of like have a little cool little add-on to the banner itself something like this and this is basically simple what I would do is basically go ahead and just delete these layers really quickly or frames and what I have here is basically one really big so if I zoom out really quickly and press control T it's one really really big uh, basically duplicated rectangles with the marquee tool you can just fill them in really simple uh, so if I just want to show you really quickly I just went like this I went to my rectangle marquee tool I went like this I filled it in with any color and I just press Alt and Shift, duplicated it like so, and then oops, I just kind of like filled it space-wise, went all the way through, uh, all the way, made it smaller, or you can just basically move it if you want. You want to combine it, right? Control E, and then move it, and then do it again, uh, with just holding Control and Alt or Shift, 
and alt just do like that and that's to combine these now too uh, obviously I made a little mistake and put no space in between this one you see that uh, you can see that that's how I would do that just so you can have a little big one that's how I did for here and then what you do is just go to here uh, frame 2 on that one thing on this one right here and we're just gonna basically move it like so uh, but you have to make sure if you're gonna move it like so I wanna do it on a new layer so control J have the first one don't move unhide this one go right here and then move it and then you can see here it look like it's moving and like I said before if you want to do like multiple things let's say if you want to add 10 we do this again just shift click on this click on this press OK it'll add 10 frames in between so it'll look like it's moving like so so there you go that's how you do that anyways it's kind of a long tutorial I have another tutorial on this as well kind of like more like slower I guess you can say uh, and not like a less information like thrown at you but like more like the more important things in the description below like it's really old but it's still useful as always uh, anyways thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoy this little cool new feature that youtube has implemented don't remember or don't forget uh two megabytes is the limit so limit yourself to about 30 frames or so and like about 20 layers because uh, layers is like basically what it really means and quality wise you would save it as simply just going to file save for web you just go to here where it says png or whatever you're saying and just click on this press gif and see right here this is basically where your the size would be so if this is a like 2.0 megabytes or mb uh, that's what basically mean like hey this is kind of like the limit you got to like lower yourself uh, so what you do is have your colors right here at 256 which is basically the max colors uh, just in case if you like have like if you're like 2.1 megabytes you can lower the colors to 128 which is still okay quality but obviously ideal wise is 256 uh, but anyways 128 is really good as well and you can see it lowers the uh, the size like dramatically right here you see at 700 and you had it at 500 over here and if you go lower and lower and lower you can see the quality is going to be decreased but the size will be decreased as well just keep that in mind just in case and then once you do this dot gif colors at 256 you can press save and you just save it as what do you want everyone to save it. I just save it as gif tutorial then you can just go to your YouTube and let's go to your little uh, thing right here edit edit uh, channel art you would just upload it and you're good to go and I'll move do something creative like this so anyways hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at Cisco HQ uh, make sure you guys leave a like if you haven't already and enjoy your cool little feature that YouTube has implemented peace out so switch you out later Oh,